Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Welcome, everyone. This is Steve Meisinger, your host for today's ISC webinar. Today, we have Jack Crooks with us. And Jack Crooks is the president of Black Swan Capital Management. And Jack will be talking about building a framework for trading the currency markets. So I'm really pleased that we have Jack with us. He understands the currency flows better than anyone. Um, so without further ado, let me introduce Jack Crooks. Jack, how are you? Hi, Steve. Thank you. Doing well, thanks. Good, good. Thank you for having me again today. Very much appreciated. And uh, <clears throat> those of you that are here, thank you for, for coming. I know it's, you have a lot of other things you could be doing. Hopefully we can share some ideas. This idea of building a framework for currency markets, it's a, it's a big topic, and it's something we could really literally spend all day on. Um, what I've chosen to do is really kind of take, in, take that part of, the, of this um, from a fundamental standpoint. If you look at you know a framework, I think a, a proper framework for any trading system that looks out on an intermediate term time frame, and I I use the I use that phrase intermediate term because of the fact that the ISC uh, FX options I think are particularly good for trading intermediate term. Um, that can be a month, three months, five months, six months, or you know even longer. <clears throat> because of that, I think uh, when you factor in technicals, fundamentals, and sentiment. Um, I think those are the three, you know, baskets that you have to look at. Uh, as I said, we could spend a spend a day on each one of these baskets. But what I wanted to try and focus on today is really the idea of fundamentals, because most, uh, I think there's, you know, Steve has a lot of people on there that, that do technical analysis, and they do it very, very well, probably a lot better than me. And I think there's plenty of very good, um, uh, ver very good stuff there. So I'm going to try and focus a little bit more on the fundamentals in this. Um, uh, webinar today and try and take your questions and look at some just some fundamental setups and look at really the two key scenarios out there and how these two key scenarios uh, going forward if they play out that the basic impact on the currencies and as Steve said um, you know he'll, he'll go through some information also um, regarding the ISC in particular and how you can play uh, these intermediate term time frames uh, with, with this product which really is a great product for the retail investor and then we'll answer questions so this is what I, you know, I guess if, if we had to define a framework, and I say we at Black Swan, as I said, we, we, we you know, look at it as a three-part framework, uh, fundamentals, technical sentiment, and I guess when, when all this lines up, if, as you could say, uh, that's the highest probability trade, and that's why we look at these different baskets. Obviously, on different time frames, you look at, you know, fundamentals more than technicals, uh, depending on the time frame, uh, but in general, uh, the, these are really the three baskets we look at in terms of sentiment. We look at survey and quantitative data, um, technical analysis. Obviously, you have everything under the sun in there, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but we're going to look at, you know, really this today because I think it's just something that uh, will help um, the intermediate term fr time frame better than than these other two baskets. Um, Asked a lot, you know, why do technicals matter? And, and the <clears throat> reality is, if you're trading, and this is just a timeline here showing um, that the further you go out in time, I think the more the technicals matter. The closer you go in, short-term trading, day trading, or intermediate term, the technicals matter. Excuse me, the fundamentals matter very, very little, uh, almost not at all. If you're trading in these really tight time frames, five, ten-minute time frames, we actually do some trading in those time frames, and in general, we don't. You know, we have a fundamental view, but we try not to let that get in the way of very, very short-term trades. You know, we're using pivot points and and all you know different types of opening range levels when we do that type of trading. But I don't think this is the type of trading that lends itself well for the FX options product. Definitely out here does, and I think the sweet spot, you know, is, is right in here, you know, three months to, you know, the 10-month time frame that's offered. Uh, and with that, you know, you can incorporate your, you know, your longer-term technical analysis, not getting too crazy, you know, just longer-term trend breaks, key support and resistance levels, uh, and then factor in the fundamentals. And that's why, I, 
you know, I decided to focus on the fundamentals today because I think this is uh, this is the area I think that we don't look at enough in terms of making some of these decisions and just thinking in these terms and and knowing, you know, trying to look at some of the strengths of fundamentals and some of the weaknesses, and there are there are both. Um, if we had to define what the benefits are of fundamental analysis, I think the first benefit. Um, that you really gain from this is understanding what the consensus view is, and that and that sounds like uh, well, that's you know kind of mediocre, but the reality is when you do fundamental analysis, you're not trying to predict the future, you're trying to look at you know what's going on in the market, and then you're looking you're bouncing that off against what the consensus view is, um, and the cons consensus view is going to have a solid uh, crystallized view of what the fundamentals are. As you do your analysis, it helps you understand that and under, understand the consensus rationales. But when you go a step beyond that as you do your fundamental analysis, it allows you to build these plausible alternative scenarios that are different from the consensus. Again, you're not building these alternative scenarios to try and forecast, but you're just building plausible scenarios that may be different. We have to trade on the consensus view because that's the view that's driving the money. The fundamentals help us understand that. If we don't understand the consensus view and the fundamental view, then when new information comes into the market, major in, you know, fundamental changing information, we won't know what's important. So again, that's why this is the first part of it. Uh, first benefit here, first process is understanding the consensus view. Building scenarios, we build scenarios, uh, we try and hold a couple different scenarios in our head. Obviously the one we're most confident in is the one we're trading from and again it's usually the consensus because that's where the money's flowing and that's where the trend is. But if you're able to build an, an alternative plausible scenario that makes sense as we go along, a lot of times the consensus view may still be right, but you'll see more and more information popping up that's validating this alternative scenario. The market hasn't turned yet. Uh, the market's still trading off a consensus view, and the reality is the market trades off perception. It doesn't trade off reality. So market, when you do your fundamental analysis, you see what the rationales are, but as you continue to just watch and stay open, and I think having two alternatives in your head allows you, it forces you to stay open and continue to look for information on both sides of the story. Again, that's the advantage of doing an alternative scenario. As you're doing this, all of a sudden maybe you're seeing more and more stuff in the plus column here that's supporting this alternative scenario, but the consensus hasn't budged. They're still trading off old rationales. And the reality is in the currency markets, you tend to get these self-reinforcing trends where price self-reinforces and maybe let's use this as the fundamentals and the fundamentals start turning down, you tend to get these overshoots in currency markets and you get these big gaps, you get these big valuation gaps in currencies because there's so much to evaluate or so much potential. So this is the consensus view, but as you're following along and using your fundamentals, you're saying, well, the fundamentals are diverging from the consensus view. And this divergence right here is a valuation gap that ultimately will have to be filled if your plausible alternative scenario plays out based on the fundamentals that you're being open to, being open to, meaning you're not trying to constantly validate this consensus, if that makes sense. So this allows you to, as, as the consensus starts to turn, to move more quickly because you've already have an understanding of the fundamentals are not supporting uh, particular valuations. And that's really how we use these uh, in the intermediate and longer term time frame or try and use these. Again, we never want to say we're right and move away from the market because we never know how far the consensus can take something in terms of over and under valuation, in terms of overshoot. We get so much overshoot in the currency markets because of the fact that there's so many plausible rationales um, traded on and there's so many variables trading on. So I think this process um, is a benefit and this process also keeps you open and flexible. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.